all right so let's continue that quest I see the yeah, value I in my own somewhere else I thought you would open the map for me okay hmm Damage. Okay, no, no, there. It wasn't the, uh, there. Alrighty, little ones. Yeah, let's go. What? Uh, come on, that was too fast. I have no idea what was written there. Was the gameplay really necessary? We will do that again sometime. There isn't much time. Keep up, little ones. That was close. How dangerous! Can I just open again? If we didn't manage to. It is dangerous here, straight not far from me, I shall... Something... Oh, careful! Okay, next time I gotta just do nothing, I wanna know what happens, that was close. No yeah, we're at maybe let's now, but this tiny body, there are paths, just here, had to come this way. Ah, we'll go back to the outer face of the initial yani. Yeah. Okay. Should do this up the store. Okay, let's go again. finally here and there is Thomas Aria it looks more like a giant harp though so, hmm. why 
Why did your Sebastus construct like that? It certainly seems well preserved. Completely different from all the ruins above. Yeah, it feels like this is only just sunk. Of course, this palace was fashioned for a giant ship. It was designed to be a titanic instrument on which the symphony was to be played. See those pipes extending outward? Though the symphony now lies broken, this was once how it would be broadcast to the four corners of the world. Weren't there people in uh, other places? The whole palace is an instrument, the entire thing? Uh, then wouldn't this entire water body start vibrating with worse play? We might get blasted apart like tofu if we get too close. Meow meow, what is tofu? Didn't you live on the surface for a while? Quite a while. Wait, you've never had any of those. Um, then it might be hard to explain. We could always take you to go uh, have some next time. Wait, can cats even eat tofu? The Eternal City, indeed, Remuses will protect this place. Remuses will protect this place, still. Just as I expected. No wonder that brazen, shameless traitor has endured even till this day. Hmm, I imagine that Boethius owes his survival of time's erosion to having laid low in the palace for all this millennia. And over those long years, he gradually mastered the power of Phobos. Well, now that we're here, we should meet up with that rude guy. He might just be shocked to see us, for all you know. In that case, let us part ways for now. Why? You're not coming along? You're not afraid, are you? You've been great help already? Uh, I will, and I was pleased to be obeyed, but to tell the truth, I have no desire to see that one ever again. But don't you want to pay back, or at least, or something? Now we should never again hear a word from the devil's mouth. His words are sham, and shameful are his lies. See that you do not fall for them. Besides, I could not help you even if I came with you, for I am but a temporary occupant of this acrobate body. Ooh. Were battle to be joined, I will have no recourse. Didn't you just shot beings? Not that I would mind terribly, but no game will solve the loss of his seizing the symphony that Remus bequeathed unto me. And let us part here for now. Though I cannot aid him in battle, I can use the currents to send you hence. Come to me should you need such aid. Regardless, let us meet again once you have vanquished the traitor. When that time comes, perhaps I too shall have the chance to make amends for my past regrets. Scylla was prince. Scylla was prince over the Dragonborn in the distant past, and though he was he has lost his bodily form, he can still command the currents. When you get within a certain distance of him, you can summon high-speed currents to move to his side. Interact with him and ask him to summon intense currents to send you to a target location. If you aim at a specific targets when choosing where to go, he might have other things to say as well. Uh, Skill will roam the ocean depths. When you're exploring the sea of air areas, he will move according to the body of water you're in. Arsalia's episode. The carriage fall for his fall off for his deception. You should not want to go to us. I fear that I shall be a little help. Come back once I have defeated the traitor. When the time comes, perhaps I too shall be able to make my past regrets. Does that mean we'll have a side quest with you afterwards? So it was my creation of a Zerper Lord Humanity was still in building great ideals to think that the demon now has mastery over it.
What? Ah, it's the road. Still part of that. Okay, that doesn't seem to be anything else it says about anything. Uh, let's see how how far can it take me. Bishop corpse, space. Uh, ah, so I can leave sooner. Okay. Think can leave. Interact with it. No. Hmm. Cassador, dear friend, I knew it would come. The invited barbarians. When it comes down to it, you're not the boss of this place. Besides, it was us who brought us here. That comes as an invitation, as far as Paimon is concerned. Yeah. Really, you're the discourteous one here. Exactly. Uh, we've heard all about it, you know? All the best stuff you've done. Silence, you noisome, ob obstre obstreperous insects. I am speaking to Cassador. Do not interrupt. No, Spymo, I'll take care of this. Whiteus, I have come as promised. Honor your pledge and relinquish the souls of the surface dwellers. They do not deserve to suffer this unforeseen calamity. The grudges between us should stay between us. You call this unforeseen? Have you not looked upon our kindred? They lie trapped in these lightless waters like walking corpses. Are they not supposed to walk upon sunlit shores? My brief interminate uh, on surface folk soul is a disaster perfect of rhyme and reason. Then what would you call the millennial long suffering of our kind? Listen and listen well. The judgment of the surface peoples on has only just begun. No. The one who imprisoned them was you, and it was you who turned our king to monsters. They, we once had a choice, so long as we discarded our old grudges, the mysteries of waters agreed to accept us into a new nation. But you used them, took advantage of the pain, and their trust in you, you turned them into tools of your ambition. That was their choice. They choose the old order, uh, not to be honey death, not the honey death you brought. And just as they give unto us the conducting battles of the Sebastus bestowed upon them, so too are we duty bound to lead them unto the correct path. How dare you swagger, uh, you shameless traitor. You who, who betrayed the Sebastus authors and led our nation to ruin. Uh, hear the vile dragon's lane in your words. And you would and you would believe a foe of our nation rather than your king and comrades. I serve no god, no king, only mighty Remuria and our noble ideals. Remus proved unworthy to reign supreme from the moment he uttered the preserve com perverse command uh, and so there are no traitors if anything it was I who rescued our nation from his error he colluded with our foes commanding the vile Drake to flatten our cities he even attempted to destroy the Grand Symphony which would have consigned us to live under Fortuna's yoke once more how could I have stood aside and done nothing in the face of his madness and so you betray him. You shut the Initium Yanni, and in the end, Phobos' power went out of control, and the royal palace sank into the depths. How, 
We will not open your eyes to the truth. It was Remus who betrayed us. Betrayed Phobos. That was the true prelude tragedy. I have already spent thousands of years struggling to recreate the symphony of the past, weaving the broken melodies together in the deep waters just to recreate what you hear now. No, in your hands it has become harsh and the discordant voices of agony and hate denounce your violence. Huh, and who decides what is harmonious or not? Is it not absolute power? Remus bent the knee to the savages and odious dragons precisely because he failed to comprehend this. Many matters not. This inverted world shall soon be righted, and I shall become the new Sebastus. That is impossible, Boetius. You are but a mortal human. Humans can never become gods. Is Sebastus just a, another word for an Archon from that time? Or is it like another tire? Uh, but uh, Cassador, you forget, was Remus' ideal not for all humans to become gods, to seize their own destinies? Uh, do you not remember? Did the rites we researched and recorded in the Golden Castellum not charge a course the, to the very destination? But we did not, uh, but we did not then know what lay beyond. We have we known? Those thousands of years ago, we times have changed. Things are different now. Cassador, join us. My preparations are complete. Only together can we accomplish this deed. I have rid my soul of all impurities, obtaining a true will. The story to heaven is but a single step away. I merely need to gather all wills that have been scattered throughout the waters. Yes, even yours, which Remus personally severed. Two minds shall merge into one, and thus shall Remuria be whole once more, once more clad in immortal form infused with refined steel and stone. No, we, no, I, no, we shall take on flesh once more, and a new Sebastus shall be born. But not only that, I shall also gain that which even Remus could not attain, the power to change the very essence of this world. I will turn back the wheel of fate, usher in the world, the old world's return, and bring justice to the land. The surface dwellers shall submit to our will as they must. It shall be as the hymn says, and when they use their will to command, the rest shall bow down and listen. Uh, you know I will not acknowledge you. You have defied his ideas. I will uphold my own justice. Uh, it matters not. You will understand once you enter Phobos' melody. Then you shall join me. I feel like they lacked some sound effects. This is Thomas Aria. Have I entered Remus's memory again? No, the atmosphere is different from before. Welcome to my palace, Outlander, my symphony. Poetius? Do not be startled. Uh, have we not met a fourth time and more than once? Whether through my phantom in the real world or in the memory palaces Remus left behind? But this is no phantasm of Remus's memory. This is my symphony, my golden stage. I knew it. I did. Waves of sorrow ring off every wall. It's a soul outlander. I don't know from whence you came. It seems you are not a human birthed from the primordial waters, nor are you any surface being at all. I cannot see the color of your soul, nor can I touch it. Nonetheless, this is not your your war. My visions against the surface dwellers is none of your concern. I don't know why you hinder our work. For most of us, to save the people of Petricor, or the justice in this world. Well, right now I think it's mostly for the people of Petricor. Those people, they are neither your king nor your subjects. On the contrary, so far as you above 
so far are you above them that they may as well be ants not even perhaps not even that the weak should submit to the strong is that not the law that this world should follow and yet you say you will protect them is this your boundless mercy or simply folly have you anything else to say Alainer? for monster Oz for the justice in this world justice you can't actually be serious can you you may possess the power that even I cannot perceive, but you would be naive, Outlander, to think that brute force alone will defeat me. I have long become one with the symphony that fills this deep water, deep seas. Even if you should destroy my physical form, so long as the agonized waters flow, and so long as the memories of vengeance do not fade, my will shall not perish, and I shall remain a nightmare that haunts this world. Unless you choose as Cassador, as that strike I did, exiling, exiling your, oneself to become the jailer of the old world, but I do not believe that one so distinguished as you would do so. Forsake the superfluous sympathy of yours, should the guilty not be punished, is that not justice? Guilty, you say, they're innocent. No, Fontaine is innocent. They were the spawn of our repairing foes. Their ancestors seized from us the realms that should have been ours by right, and they must pay the price for their original sin. This is sounding like a lot like uh, current world events. <laughs> have you anything else to say, Alainer? For most of us. Oh, but can you, your short friendship surpass the span of our kinship? Cassador and I, we were new, we were new humans, golems, crafted by Remus's own hand, and we are the final survivors. Compared with our other king, his soul is like insoluble anchor. Other than myself, only he has the true will, and only when we are combined can we become a complete self. So too are our wills one, the opera's final act shall see him return to us, this is his fate. But if he returns, won't he disrupt their will, because his objectives are different? Since you insist on sabotage, sabotaging our plans, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to stay in my palace for a while longer. I cannot detain you for long, of course. But I, it should be long enough. Let us meet again when I become a god and sit upon this abyssal throne. Before that, let my little symbol occupy you for a time. Okay, battle. Oh, I don't really have. Go! Okay. Uh, some of my skills. For not, I wish to aid you. Yeah, if, if I had the... If I had the geo thing, it would be... It would be helpful. You know, I found you at last. And you are Cassador, what's your loss? Indeed, it is I. I believe you might have met me in the Sebastian's memories. So I suppose these are first time meeting in this manner. Time is short, maintaining this form in Boetius, uh, Boetius's symphonic palace is no easy task. Let's keep this brief. Where are we exactly? Aren't we supposed to keep this brief? Uh, this is a space created by Boetius, the manifestation of his soul. It is maintained just as the Sebastian's memories you enter before are, by the grace of the symphony's might. So just now, yes, he used the, power, the music's power to pull us in. I suspect that Domus Aurea is too close to the heart of the Phobos, allowing him to directly influence my, the, present wor the present world. If we truly allow him to obtain power that surpasses reality, he might even pull the entire surface world into his, his space. 
When that happens, his delusions will replace the real world, and Fontaine will revert to its appearance from thousands of years ago. Just like what happened in Petrichor, though I suspect it will be worse still. Will he really become a god? That depends on your definition. It's not hard to give shape to false fantasies, but he will find transcending fate futile. Were it truly that simple, then those thousands of years ago will have already succeeded. All he can do now is drag more innocents into, this night, into the nightmare of his making, turning them into walking corpse-like puppets. Then we must stop him. That we do, but that cannot be done here. We must return to the real world. In that, I shall aid you. And what about you? Not to worry. He has no place for me at the moment. As as for me, I just thought of a way in which we can destroy him utterly. He has prepared a mighty form for himself in the real world, and he plans to initiate a ritual within the Mus Aria that will have him take on flesh. Is that the Centaur Colin? As long as we can get him to lower his guard and gather the symphony scattered throughout the deep, sea, deep waters into that body, we can seize the opportunity to destroy him, both him and the body. They'll put an end, into er an end to everything. Only you can do this. Phobos's melody does not sing of your destiny, and Boetius cannot influence your soul. You are the exception to all that is planned. Perhaps that is why the Sabastus guided you here. Go now, my strength will not hold for long. Let us meet again in the real world and we may yet bring a name to this long nightmare. Ah, you finally woke up. Ah, I thought I was actually teleported. I was worried sick, she thought. She thought you might have had your soul stolen by that jerk, just like all the Taos people. And fine, fine, did I pass out? That's right, and after that, Boetius and Monster Ozis appeared along with the wave of sound, leaving Paimo all alone here. And then this big guy came along, not that he helped much either. I feared that was not up to me, I am but a soul that dwells within the icon, and though the Remus did give me his final symphony, but to wield its power against Boetius is a different matter. Anyway, Ignus woke up and seems to, seems okay at least. But where did Monster Oz go? Dear Boetius, I saw him. He'll tell what happened with the Boetius Soul Palace. Oh, so Monster Oz is in there alone. He seems to have his own plan, don't worry. It is a bit concerning, but has a plan. Regardless, should he prove correct, then we still have a chance to defeat that shameless devil. But first, you must enter Domus Aurea. Well then, big guy, what are you looking at me for? Didn't you once lead a host of dragons to attack Remuria's capital? Getting us into Domus Aurea should be a piece of cake. You have many ideas for one so small, little one. Still, this shall not prove as simple as you think. The chief strength of Dragonborn lies in our powerful flesh, imbe embedded into Icor as I am. All that remains to me is but the feebles of wills. Destroying the Initium Yani exalted not all my power. In Domus Aurea, defended by the Symphony's power, cannot be compared to the gates of Mirstone. Wait, then aren't we fresh out of options? Are we really just gonna watch while that Boetius guy eats most your us up? Peace, you rash little thing. I merely said that I was powerless, but it is not so for you. The power of the symphony depends the palace, the same strength can be used to break it. But the symphony that I can wield is... Yeah, that super powerful Phobos thing is protecting the palace, right? How can we possibly beat it? If you cannot beat it, then simply borrow what you need from it. Once upon a time, the will of Phobos flowed through golden aqueducts, 
into every corner of Remuria. So this parts this path and pipes have been destroyed. If you can connect the section that lies before you once more, the great gates of Domus Aria shall surely open, just as they once did. That is what is written in the symphony after all. Sounds like it's worth a shot. Looks like we don't have other options. I too made some discoveries while searching for anything Remus might have left behind. It appears that this devil has yet to join some fragments of the symphony to his music. And they are scattered in this part of the sea. Come with me. If we can find them and use their strength, we might yet reverse the flow of time and return the aqueduct to the original form. Oh, that does sound kind of promising. Let us get a move on then. Where is he? Oh, quite far. Let me need the horn to awaken the score engraved here in the low. The rest is your hands. Okay. Here's a part of the Scattered Symphony, we can reconstruct the acoustics as they once were. Tell me about the Scattered Symphonies. I'm sure you have encountered the music recorded in the form of paintings, yes? In the past, Remus's musicians would cover every rock and stone wall with their melodies. But these days, only the, this golden beast shall heed the summoning. So, shall he the summons of the symphony? Yes, part of the symphony remains in place, I can feel it. Uh, no. The aqueduct. No, as well. Oh, the clues in the mirror, huh? Just uh, do we go elsewhere now? Oh yeah, I have... I forgot that thing. No? Uh, you can point it here. No? This guy here. No, I was supposed to mess with that again because it left on its own. Okay, ah, oh, I'm missing one bird. Okay. You back there. Okay. Where are they going? Where is the uh I 
just get that. Here's the power, same thing. We're good. For the simple remains. Ah, oh, follow that. Oh, did I hit that? Shadow added to the archive. I think that's a bit far far. <laughs> Wish to find. Oh, Harmo Harmo's notes too. Was there a one next to the other one? Aurelius once divided all phenomena in four categories substance, property, quality, and relation. Quality is, key is the keystone, which is what is often called the quadrant of qualities. Memories, wishes, soul, and persona. The so called piercing of the ego, or to play one's own music, is to pierce substance and quality, thus completely controlling one's own will, such that the musica humana may be as the musica mundana. But the music of both mortals and gods is fitted to be fragile, just like strings pulled out. Even should they collapse onto, on themselves, they cannot simply, they cannot play a tone more sonorous than the pipes. Thus, just as when you order slaves to play music, the ratio of the instruments present must be adjusted to avoid 
profaning the melody of morality. Only by integrating and blending the melodies of mortals can a symphony can can a symphony that can be the fortune of the written. This is the Phobos of which we speak. One can imagine, should Phobos cease playing, all would collapse in an instant. Mortals and gods are destined to be conquered by Fortuna and to sink into dreamless dreams. No matter how you change your own tune, you will finally reach the preordained note. As a musician, you should know that if the last note cannot be changed, then the melody itself too. Uh, they cannot write their own music, and this is a name more terrifying than death. In other words, for mortals, distance from Phobos is tantamount to betrayal. The louder their music, the more resolute their wishes, the firmer the order of Fortuna becomes, none can escape. Therefore, they cannot be regarded as humans equal to us. Their choices do not come from their own wills, but rather the course charted for them by Fortuna. They have not the freedom to make decisions and they will do and all they do is play until the final note had, that was long ago written for them. Based on this morality and rationality, the only choice we have is to eradicate them from the soil and waters, as we would eradicate plagues and extinguish wildfires. Otherwise, Fortuna's, Fortuna's symphony will grow to a deafening war until there are no and never shall be other possibilities. And never again will it be possible to choose rebellion. <laughs> Is Fortuna the heavenly pri principles or just something really similar to that. <laughs> that was noise, wasn't there? Huh? Ah, only two? Did I complete the first one or they were all part of the same? Uh, isn't he in the same place? Oh, rebuilt. Alright. Uh, just. Okay, the, the objective says one thing, but the go well, there points me to another. Are there other broken pipes? No. Is there another thing I have to do? You're still looking in the same spot. There's a core scatter. Yeah, same thing. You're still looking at the same spot. creation of the upper lord of humanity, it was to imbued with great ideals to think that a demon now has mastery over it. A symphony in the place. 
It's not that, is it? I don't follow. What am I supposed to do? Line just vanish. I can really follow them. What am I supposed to do now? The gaps seem to be off field. Oh no, there's one gap there. No, no, there isn't. It's just any there. I don't know. Let me try get back into that cave. Maybe there was something else there. But just because they're still looking at it. I have to fight you guys. Uh, I'll go there at once. <laughs> Follow ceiling, find a way to reveal the, all the epidemics. Yeah, I don't know. I think there should be another place for her. <laughs> you should go elsewhere now. Looks important. Yeah, that looks important. Yeah, let's check that. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be another mural here or anything. Well, let's try to get there. Because the other two were close to teleport, so... Maybe. Now, oh, one of those. Be sanctified. Damage. 
drains. Oh my. Stabilize. Bow your head. <laughs> Solidify. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Settle down. Oh, it drinks, it drinks health as well? Or did I... Oh, it managed to kill me even through the shield. Yeah, I, I need to change my party. I won't be able to do this that way. Uh, oh, no. Okay, start the fight. I need to change the party. This won't do. This won't do. She raised a uh, bird of the exalted harmless boy. She has received the Dragonborn envoys to discuss cooperation. The following lines of text have been brutally struck out by a sharp implement. They cannot be read. Traitor, 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 traitor. Sink into this mortal prison with us, Xero Pros. That isn't really what I was looking for. No, oh, am I close to? No, I got farther from that. Ah, uh, uh, maybe it's all the way. Up there and not here. Yeah, I don't know. I think did did it get stuck or something? Because I don't think it should be there. Still on the same spot. Oh uh, yeah, it's still higher above. I have a nice ritual. Go away. How about we explore the uh, area ahead of us later? Well, it wasn't a red uh, border of the map. Bummer. Damn it. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Still pointing me to the same spot, and that thing doesn't really help me. Can't you really help? 
Because the parts can be symphony, tell me about the symphony. Other music recording paintings. Let me try once more. See if there's anything there. Let's do this, guys. Not that it should make any difference. Huh. Settle down. Overruled. Stabilize. Silence. This is order. Let the mighty be humble. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully, the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. Huh, I didn't see that. Uh, there is one here vanished. Then I have to do that as well. Because the bird left here already. Missing some birds. There was a there was a good scene when they left here, wasn't there? So I shouldn't be missing any. I don't know. Did the game glitch? I. It feels like it should have moved. Uh, let me see. Let me search online. Rebuild the. Golden aqueducts. Okay, there's a guy just saying that once the birds are leaving the second location, it's done. See, there, there was a sound here. What did I get here? The sound. Then we're supposed to get a chest here or something to No, this shouldn't I shouldn't have to mess with it to complete the quest. This is unrelated. Think of something.
Ah, that's broken. Ah, uh, here there's some broken still. Yeah, but this problem is completely unrelated to the quest. That is what I'm trying to complete. And I'm gonna have to look for a video online. Yeah, I'm close to the broken things here. Yeah, those got repaired, but shouldn't the first? Ah, okay, maybe. Ah, damn. I I probably didn't finish following the first birds. Ah, it's probably that. Yeah, yeah, that was that. Come on, the way you shouldn't have moved <laughs> to the next objective. Come on, that was just that. the point of the pipes that I got fixed before actually alrighty looks like the waterways are reconnected next we should go back and look for the big lung yeah uh, I wonder how Monster Oz is doing we gotta hurry up he knows what's going on is it happening again I had a dream that dream immortals have free will and their fates were uncertain it's really should Difficult to write beautiful music, then you wake up from the dream. Uh, 
Primus, I must remind you that in my view, both your kingdom and the symphony you composed are now beyond your control. Though I have never expected much from this creature, do from those created by the reservoir of the many waters and nurtured by yourself, the extent of their degradation is shocking, not less. The civilization created by you and your subjects shone brighter than all others in this world, but now the remains now but deep impenetrable darkness. The atrocities committed in the name of civilization and order were far crueler than even the even pure bar barbarism. Even the most savage and violent of bishops would never engage in such meaningless slaughter. I am perfectly aware of all you you say, you know, and yet you remain indifferent, or are you powerless? No, you could easily destroy those mortals who deserve punishment if you so wish it, but you cannot bring yourself to do it. You love humanity, this is the curse you bear as a usurper. It is time for me to depart, I will not aid them in butchering innocent mortals, but neither do I harbor any desire to stop them. You once promised the Zephyr of many waters that you would use the pure water she granted you to create a world of endless prosperity, one without conflict. I followed you to the surface precisely because I wished to witness the future, but this is how it turned out. You have failed, Remus. You have not defeated Fortuna. Blood shall stain the high sea red once more. Such is the cruelty the heavens show to their creations. I have a plan. Oh, you always were one to have many plans, Remus, but all of them lie in dust now. Even you do not know where it all went wrong. Would you like to hear it though? This will be the last one. Yeah, oh, the last plan. One last plan. I distinctly recall you saying the same thing when you persuaded me to leave the, the Fontamer. But speak now, before returning there, to the side of the zipper of many waters. No, fascinating, fascinating. Only you could be so thoroughly selfish, yet so utterly selfless. You even took me to account, did you? Recklessness. How terribly rash of you. Usurper Lord of Mortals, still your plot pleases me. The mere thought of leading my bishops and trampling your arrogant, foolish people underfoot brings me joy. But this shall be mere ceremony, just a show. Pray not, I shall be, as you said, merciful. But if you do this, your life as a god shall come to an end. There will be nothing left but the symphony. Have you considered this fully? Of course, of course. The box of horrors that I open, so too shall I shut. Good, then I accept your proposal. If the time should come, I shall join my strength to that of your symphony. Hobos's chains shall be broken, and your people shall once more be free. In that case, please accept my final symphony. The city built by the harp was toppled by the peeping of reeds. That which the heavens have in store for us is a fate that balances good and evil. The Sirius' memories again. It wasn't another one of Mr. Evil and Roots this time, right? Even in Dream, the jerk just super irritating. I think I know what Remus' plan was. We must destroy Phobos. To accomplish it, we will need to play Scala Symphony. Uh, oh, was it that all of a sudden? What did you see in the memory? Fascinating, Remus' power lingers still in the deep seas. And has not dispersed. And I too am here at last. Do you know what that means? The conditions have been fulfilled. Indeed. That is why I have come here with you, to make amends for millennia of regret. Now, the final question is Phobos. Wait, wait, I was confused. What are we using the music for? 
It's nice that you understand each other and all, but you're leaving Paimon out. That's unfair. Tell her what's going on. The final symphony Remus gave me, or the Re Requiem, is an order for the Phobos to self-destruct. He wants to sacrifice himself to unleash the symphony's power, and it would fall to me to control the primordial savage energies that he would awaken. That was how he would free his subjects from their stone bodies and give them back forms of flesh and blood, destroying the artificial barrier between races. Won't they just instantly draw? I get it that they are supposed to be dead for a long time, but that seems a bit cruel. He once instructed me not to reveal this plan to any of his subjects. For it was only by making them realize their limitations that prejudice and arrogance would be set aside. It appears, however, that I have pleased to gather his plain through memory as he left behind. So that's what happened, but his sacrifice was wasted in the end. Perhaps, but now that my soul has been freed, there is a chance to make amends. The souls of Remus' former subjects remain imprisoned in the statues. If we can defeat the monstrosity, we can use the Requiem to give their souls release, allowing them to return to the high sea, to the eternal cycle of life and death. The way I may consider myself to have fulfilled his wish. Perhaps that is why I came here. Indeed, Alainer, perhaps this is indeed a fated encounter. Aren't I free from fate of this world? How is this a fated encounter? Mercury. Finale. Okay. Where are you? Show me there. Now that the aqueducts are fixed, we simply need to release the star anchor in here, and the water wish shall be linked once more. The last creation of the Super Lover is still going by great ideals. Yes, but Symphony remains. Okay. It's nice to have that, but that's still a lot to travel. <laughs> There could just be smaller. Ah, it stopped. There's still some. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. How the Icardazos, just as it did millennia ago. This must mean the time has come. The gates of Domus Aria shall swing open wide, just as they did when the golden waterways rang with song, in the days when the melody and the fellow would flow from this place to all lanes behind. Uh, I can hear already the beautiful music. Let us play together. You know, Spymon, then you shall gain access to Domus Aria. Oh, this is that. Uh, well, if I miss, I guess I just have to do a game like, with the thing.
still looked a bit Disney. Let's like the door shut on me. Pass through the gate of the Bulls Aria, accompanied by the Golden Melody. Yo, guess where he? That was tough. Was it? I said, this looks more like the guts of some giant machine than does a palace. This place is very familiar. Is this the place you saw in Remus's memories? So that's why the Mr. Super ruled bad guy wants, also wants it. Uh, things are gonna be, get ugly if he succeeds. We don't know what's become of Monster Oz either. Well, we got no choice but to keep going. And another. Hmm. Um, did I enter through this door? Those aren't very efficient stairs. The end of an ancient dream edited archive. Persistent garbage. Did you repair the broken aqueduct to celebrate my birth as the god of ancient days? I must warn you, my new world requires no such things, nor will I require ships. For all shall find eternal happiness within my symphony. We're about to add some end bar lines to your score. That's right, best you let me defeat now and release everyone's souls and also head over Monster Oz. Uh, Cassador has already agreed to join this green ritual. He has returned to Remurius's embrace. All wheels belonging to Remurius shall merge into one body, where now is your friendship. Was it not merely your own presumptiveness? Inflated sense of importance. Oh, there he is. Was your us? Just trust me. There seems to be lacking some sound effects. Those aren't part of the play, but I know so it is. The case probably should burn the world. Oh well, I have to break your shoe. Just I spray the shoe. What? How? Why can I control this body? Cassador, you. I have you at last, Boetius. All your will is here, and Phobos also. This time there is no escape. Why? I am a Harmos. Oh, the conductor of the symphony. How? How did you? Have you forgotten? Before the Sebastos cut me away, I too was a Harmos. And now that I have returned to the symphony, you are the sole conductor no longer. Uh, so you agreed to join me just to lower my guard, only to betray me once more. Me and Remuria both. Think of our king tragically imprisoned beneath the waters, of the torment he suffered for millennia. Will you truly destroy our cause, obliterate our final hope? For the sake of those who scurry and crawl in dry land. You are the traitor here, and the one who imprisoned our people. That is why our nation fell into its ruinous fate. The justice of our Sebastus, the Imperator gave unto us, the golden ideal, was for us to follow the melody of our hearts and obtain the freedom to grasp our fate. 
We did not wish to be judged by Fortuna, much less become your slaves. After Phobos was shattered, the people should have gained their freedom. If not for your deception, their nightmare would have ended long ago. Remuria has not fallen. With Phobos as its guiding star, it, will, it shall rise again. Though rock and metal may crash and clamor, humans cannot live without water and soil. No power, however great, that tramples upon the value of life has any meaning. You are not human yourself. Are you not human yourself, Boetius? Remurians were all ordinary Fontanians once. So we forsook our flesh, wrecked with pain and weakness, and gained immortal forms. We still have mortal souls, mortal emotions, and mortal frailties. But we forgot that. We forgot where we came from. We lived ourselves superior to other humans. That is why Remuria fell. Do you remember my words? Now is the time. Solidify! The illusions by I became a more transfixed silence. Be sanctified. I didn't pay attention to it was out of life already. Uh, I'm just kind of dizzy now. Cassador. Enos Pamo, I didn't think we would be able to meet again like this. You, you're monster us. Oh, but he's here too. He's not gonna try anything funny, is he? Huh. No, wait. Uh, are Pamo's eyes deceiving her? What's with that flowing over there? You see too, then? That being that hovers behind the illusion? The being that hovers behind the illusion of Poetius. Huh, you found me, I see. No illusion it, it is that you see. You gaze upon Boetius through form, for I am in truth Boetius. Of course, I am not only him, but you also. I am every melody, every movement, every thought. I am the sum of all souls. I am Phobos. This does not include your children from beyond, however, you are not part of us. Phobos. So the great symphony that governs all has a persona. Phobos, or should I say, that which was once Sibylla, was originally a survivor of the last deluge that swallowed the earth. Sibylla's wish was to grant happiness to all in the world who are called humans. But she had no persona, and her strength was insufficient. Thus, she entrusted her wisdom to Remus, and with the addition of the power that Remus possessed, the symphony Phobos was created. That is to say, me. Now, how can this... So, the music we have played all this time, and the fate we accepted, that all came from you. Yes, it is me, but it is also all of you. I am also you all. I am the aggregate of all your wishes. Eliminating our enemies, destroying other lives, destroying cities and villages. Are these also your wishes? Precisely. That's what you wish for. And so I responded. Plunder, hatred, slaughter. These are... These two are part of your wishes. Is that not what it means to give everyone happiness? Preposterous. Don't be absurd, just, that's just twisted and wrong. No, those aren't our true wishes. The arrogance and hatred that festered within us warped you, turning you into a terrifying monstrosity. Such things will make no one happy, not us, not any other living being. No wonder you led us to destruction. The Imperator himself must have sensed it, and that's why he... Remus, yes, he did attempt to destroy me, but why? Without me, all of you would once again have plunged into confusion and agony. 
Ah, so for all your sakes, I had no choice but you. Wait, what? Do you mean to say the Boetius, even then, had already? Yes, that must be it. We could never have gone against Sebastian's commands, unless the very symphony had rebelled against him. What of Boetius? What have you done with him? Well, he's become us, of course. Or, put in a way you might understand, I ate him. Ate him? Oh no. Uh, but that was also his wish, one I, only I could fulfill. I'm sure that it made him most happy indeed. So that's why Boetius became your puppet, and why he did all he could to engineer your return. It's all for the happiness of you, for everyone. Uh, no, no, it is time we put an end to all this. I have trapped you in this body, there's no way out. I shall destroy you utterly. Is your wish to disappear together with me? Would I make you happy? But I can fulfill the wish. I am Remuria no longer. I cannot become Fontanian. I already chose my fate when I agreed to help Sebastus attain his wish. So yes, this is my wish, the reason for which I have wandered this world. I will end this millennia old nightmare. Now, now Ignis, Phobos and I destroy us both. God, I'm filled with joy Ignis, for I have just learned of the Sebastus plan and hopes. Uh, the Imperator aimed to free everyone from the symphony, from hatred and strife, through his sacrifice. Even to the last, he desired to save his people. Now I shall fulfill the wish he could not see through. This is our final chance and only you can help us seize it. That is why the Imperator, why fate brought you here, my friend. So this is a final chase. Stabilize! Not his stage, take up surge and bring it on this one end. This is the fate I chose long ago. I think that's the first time I hit someone that's not fighting back. for us is that you it's finally over <coughs> seems that I shall soon fade Cassiodor it's a better name it's alright I have finished walking the world I was meant to and fulfilled that which I was meant to fulfill this world shall no longer have Cassiodor nor shall it have the golden hunter I am certain that the people of this present world shall continue to live normal, happy lives. But... Inus, Paimon, you have my thanks for accompanying me up to this point. My journey has reached its final destination, but yours has yet to end. Please, play the Requiem for me and for my Imperator's wishes. Let our souls return to the present world and return to the Great Sea. If water loses its clarity, how shall it become water again? If a tree leaves the soil, where shall we go to put down roots? Though rocks and metal may crash and clamor, humans cannot live without water and soil. Perhaps we shall meet again someday, in a fertile lane full of flowing water. I thought we will get the cat. <laughs> Cause we can't call him Monster of Oz anymore. But also should this should be fine, right? Huh, 
opinião. Oh, big guy, you scare us. You mean Cassador? No, the familiar feeling has disappeared. Where has Cassador gone off to? Has returned to one of those tomb bodies again? Cassador is no longer with us. Cassador, monster of us, he he's disappeared. Along with Boetius and Phobos. As you explained the whole tale to Skiller, you open up. Uh, that's right, now all that's left is us. Meow meow. Uh, good going, us. I guess you were just surprised by this big guy's appearance, huh? Who's a brave kitty, huh? That's right, you are. So you vanquished the evil apparition, and Cassador was able to fulfill his own wishes. I'm certain that his soul has returned to the deep waters and is now reunited with his king. So long as we complete Remus' final symphony, we shall be able to send their souls back to the present, back to the high sea. Life flows like water, they will join the current, and one day, they will surely be reborn as mortals. Well then, let us begin. Perform this final movement, this final right queen. I can walk all around here, but there's nothing besides that. I don't have to press anymore. Following the current comprise of congregated souls on college, depart from the underwater realm, follow the spirit guy and golden bee up and up and up. Hmm. I didn't quite get what exactly are the golden bees. Huh.
Oh yeah, I definitely lost a bunch of dialogue with them. But all options. And probably not really important. Turn things over, it go uh, Oh yeah, there were the other things. I didn't lock them. The beginning of the opera during Barnes on the journey. Lacrimos uh, fate is like spinning loom that never ceases. After being watered by tears, new flowers will bloom forth from the ground. The guilty humans rise from the sea of suffering and return to the womb. All heavens, please grant them peace. Ocean where there is conversion, never try, but shall rise the sky, falls and rains once more. Please tell me all the lips are not being vain. Rest in peace now, after all, it has sanded. Um, is it? I didn't remember, I had tripped me. Symphony's a bounty. Ah, uh, by getting them all, I get some rewards. I think those are for completing other uh, pieces of music, but not really important to the story. The, is this a symphony that Remus left to us, finally coming to an end? They completed the Red Queen, and the souls imprisoned in the ocean depths all had seemed to have left. The townspeople should be back to normal as well, right? Thank you both for completing this final musical movement. These wishes that have endured for thousands of years. Whether it is mine, Remus's, or that of anyone who wishes to protect peace in this world. That reminds me of Monster Oz. Meow meow. You like the name too? Uh, we're not talking about you right now, though. So. His soul has returned to the high sea. There, at last, he can be at peace. I imagine that was a king to release for him. As for my kindred and descendants, it seems that is. It seems that a new true dragon has been born to us. So, as one who was a prince amongst Hydro bishops, I should go forth and seek an audience with him. Though, it is hard to say if I still count as dragonborn now. But then, the bishops and the dragons do have a common ancestor and stuff. Well, as Naha is a Vishap and a dragon, but I wasn't sure. I didn't realize they really had a deeper connection. The others, the other dragons. Uh, too much time has passed, so much that little in this world has anything to do with me. So what do you plan to do next? Well, now it was not easy f to regain my freedom, so I believe I shall have a good romp on the water. After all, there are none who shall disturb me any longer, save you, perhaps. Hey, what do you mean, disturb? <laughs> I jest. Still, I am not due to return to your own place. Let us for always here, then. Or so I would say, but further visits on your part would be appreciated. I make it lonely now that everyone is gone after all. No, oh, you just miss it already, don't you? You big luck. Uh, see you around, big guy. We'll meet again. Yeah, looking at you, even I begin to look forward to the future of the rest of beings. Well then, until we meet again. Still I lives amidst the turbulent waves. Well, where should we go next? Alright, we should get back to Mr. Este and tell him that everything is fine now. We did promise too, after all. And there's us too. Uh, what should we call him now? This could get complicated. Didn't we sell us? Anyway, let's get back to town first. Oh, 
Huh. But it is completed already. So this is probably just an optional dialogue. But this is kind of part of the quest. Where is the guy? I oh, don't want to talk to everybody. From Sumero seems awful suspicious. Ah, I bid you welcome, youth from afar. Where is him? I thought we'll meet him next to the bell tower. Ah. Yes, so we're back. Yeah, I mark the objective would be nice here. Oh, if it isn't... Wait, no. Who are you? Huh? You can't have forgotten us already. We're in Zepaimo. In Zepaimo? Have indeed you heard of those... Heard tell of these names? But I could have sworn I heard them in a dream. Uh, but we were definitely awake then, Este. Also, while we were below, didn't we even see... I dreamed that everyone in town was petrified. Turned into statues of stone, leaving me utterly helpless and alone. Until finally, two brave heroes came and shouldered the burden of rescuing everyone. Could it be that it was no dream at all? Maybe, maybe not. That is, that's not important. That's kind of important. Yeah, after all, everyone's back to normal now, aren't they? But it seems as though everyone has had some very strange dreams indeed. Just what happened? Could we all have been hypnotized in mass? It would take us ages to explain it all properly, just forget about the hypnosis thing for now. Oh, speaking of hypnosis, you two even brought over a cat. It looks quite intelligent. He's even better than he looks. He's our companion. And moreover, he's our companion, but unfortunately we can take him with us on our journey. That's why we have a house that we can store our pets in. Well now, isn't that a coincidence? Our club just happened to have an open bed of four cats available. It's been unoccupied ever since the hypnosis researcher went out traveling and took his cat with him. Oh! If you don't mind, leave him here with us. We'll take care of him. It's okay, but I like to take it with me. So I can't quite put my finger on it. I feel like we're bound up together, almost as if by fate. I'll help you take very good care of him indeed. The cattery is on the other side of the building, just walk over and you see it. Where? Here? To you? This is the other side of the building. Ah, here. That's on the other side of the building. Hey, this will be our home for now. Us. Meow. Still, it feels a bit weird. Cassidy should have already left here, right? So, who is us now? Is it the original cat that hasn't been indwelt by Cassador? Or is it Monster Oz that share all these adventures with us? Uh, Paimon's brain is cramping up. Paimon, you're really not suited to thinking about stuff like this. Oh, sees us. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Anyway, we found a new home for us now. Two, if we got time, maybe we can complete him. Meow meow. Does that mean we can come pet him whenever we want? No. Pet him. Okay, so now we have one single cat we can pet anytime we want. And it's still in an annoyingly slow manner. Couldn't we just have a... Uh, 
a pet option next to animals. It didn't really need to be well done, it could just be they doing something with their hands around the height of the animal's head. Or you know, maybe just have not even do anything, just have the pet the animal do some animation, like rolling on the ground or something. Uh okay, I guess I'll now just go down there and fight it. Uh, I didn't quite get that. No, it's through the other path. Okay, so I guess through here. Okay. Let's see. Just so I can upgrade my Arlequino. That was was there a book? Yeah, there was. Gather. Seriously, you're not gonna fight me. Ruggiero's notes one. The Golden Hunter knows far more about Remuria than I expected. According to historical records, the Marshal Saint Hunters should have first become active a few decades after the fall of Remuria, by which point the concept of Lock Knights and had completely died out in Fontaine. No matter the dramatic adaptation, none would put the Marshal's Hunters, Remuria and Lock Knights together, for these concepts simply do not belong to the same era. Even a five-year-old child would not commit such grave error. Yet, none of what he discussed seemed to have anything to do with the Golden Troop, but instead was, indeed, what always was about ancient Remoria. I have a theory that I dare not raise with him directly. Perhaps the Golden Hunter is not the devout orphan called by, called and chosen by Egeria but is in fact one of the lesser Remurian remnants. The only problem with this theory is that I cannot explain his immortality. I indirectly broached the issues of the Lock Knight with him. I couldn't discern his expression, but he seemed reluctant to discuss the topic. Quite surprising, after all, it is commonly said the first Marshals and Hunters to follow him were the heirs of the Lock Knights, such as Este and Walter. Could it be that they were like him? No matter what, according to him, the priority now is to stop awakening the from the seals. As for these historical questions, they can be left for a later date. You're really not gonna fight me. That feels weird. You look different. Ah. Solidify! Settle down! Shows <laughs> uh, over! No! Oh, I tried to switch! Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. I uh, didn't really notice that. So I didn't really notice that right in front of me. Can I just unsolicited? No, and all the more valuable for it. Hmm. 
No, I don't think I really need that. Property belongs. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna choose this anyway. Hmm, let's see. Legato Scotland. Uh, this ancient Legato Scullin uses its sturdy marble body to defend against attacks while using music and searing flames for victory its foes. The use metal to, to the energy to break through its defenses. Apart from this, it will also set up resonators in combat that will assist its attacks. This destroys resonators to deplete its shooting effectively. Are done. What's here? Ah, that. I thought those were so. Can I get you another level now? Anger. Okay, have to beat it a few more times. Uh, uh, can I get you some talents now? Okay, should be easy enough. Get to level 90. Let's try to get a Lini. Not yet. Mm -mm, 12 days. None here. Okay, let me just check the. What did I get here? Fish of course, skill. Is current skill. Someone reach point. First time. Omni via Raymond the Count visit the Eternal City. Late coming Diacodu, Di Diadocus. His wish shall be yours to fulfill. Uh, okay, I haven't done that yet. And complete. Can't go so harmony. Alright. So, I guess we're good. So, uh, how long should this get? Seven days. Mm, there's still one day to go. Alright, so I'm off. The next play, I'll, next time I play, I'll do this event.